I'm made for so much more than this Victory is your guaranteed Every day I'm power to succeed Striving I try So in every day No, no limitation Anytime, anywhere Try we are the takeover generation. We are that army written prophetically in the book of Joel chapter 2. They will fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. A generation that no other generation has seen. You go into the market and break monopoly. You shake systems and structure. Everywhere the Bible is a war book. Fight the good fight of faith. You are not fighting to win. You are fighting from the point of victory. Drive 365. Be empowered to succeed anytime, anywhere, any day. Ruling in the midst of your enemies quickly we are not redeemed to be beggars revelation chapter 5 quickly church revelation chapter 5 let's read it from verse 9 and they sang a new song saying you are ready to take the book and to open its series for you are slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation and have made us king and priest to our God and we shall reign on the earth. We've been redeemed <laughs> to be kings and priests and the only purpose is so that we reign on the earth. We reign on the earth. I will quickly give you two keys that helps you as a Christian to rule and to reign in the midst of your enemies. If there is nothing in your life that makes people ask, this is beyond ordinary, then something is missing. If all your results are natural, if you are not enjoying exponential grace, exponential mercy, exponential wisdom, exponential blessings, then you need to realign with the covenant. Of course, there will be challenges, but greater is it that is in you than it that is in the world. Now, the truth is this. You are destined to rule and to reign in the midst of your enemies. If the enemy stop you, Christ died in vain. There is a light that shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. I am redeemed to reign. You are redeemed to reign. Exercise influence and authority. Look at your neighbor now and ask your neighbor, what is the number one key? The gospel of John chapter 10, KJV, verse 34 and 35. <laughs> Jesus answered them, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. Is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. Then look at the next verse. <laughs> if he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scriptures cannot be broken. When the word of God comes to you, in any area, in that area, you become a God. Yes. Yes. If he called them God, unto whom the word of the Lord came, and the scriptures cannot be destroyed. Yeah. The scriptures can be broken. The scriptures can be destroyed. The word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Church, this is the key. This is the key. The reason why a lot of people miss it, I mean a lot of believers miss it, when it comes to exercising their authority is because the word has not come to them in that area. Yeah. For example, 
when the word of God comes to you in the area of prosperity, you become a God over poverty, lack, and want. When the word of God comes to you in the area of protection, you become a God over calamity, misfortune. When the word of God comes to you in the area of longevity, death bows to you. When the word of God comes to you, I mean the revealed word of God. Have I not said ye are God unto whom the word of God came? So therefore, go after the word. The word is the rod with which you rule in the midst of your enemies. The revealed word of God. You will, you will triumph over principalities and power. If the word of God come to you, the revealed word of God, yeah, thy words were found and I did eat them. You go after the word. Today, a lot of Christians are wordless. And that's why many people are worthless. Wordlessness equals worthlessness. Your what is not your car. Your what is not the clothes you wear. Your what is not determined by your profession and your geographical location. Your what spiritually and physically in this kingdom is a product of the word of God that liveth and abideth in you. That's why you can't be deceived. You can't be lightweight. You are heavyweight. Because the word of the king resides in you. Satan came to Jesus and Jesus answered, it is written. It is written. It is written. And then the devil liveth him. The devil liveth him. Mama a lot of Christians today, all they just want is pray for us, prophesy over us. A lot of Christians today can't deploy the word of God to face the challenges of life. A lot of us keep looking for prophecies. Yeah, keep looking for prayers. A lot of us keep running at a skelter. A lot of Christians today don't know the word. No wonder they are not matured. No wonder they run in battles. You remember Daniel 11, 32b? Only those who do know their God shall be strong and shall do exploit. Only those who do know their God. How do I know I have a future? No negative dream has meaning to me. The word of God is bubbling in my spirit. The word of God is bubbling in my heart. The word of God is bubbling in my soul. No matter what, no negative dream, no negative prophecy from anyone makes sense to me. I mean none. Why? The authority I have in the word of God that liveth and abideth forever. I therefore prophesy, receive fresh appetite for the word of God. Amen. Your amen is not strong enough. Amen. You can't be word lazy and rule over your enemies. Oh, young sisters, they relax. You can settle your marriage in the world. Before I came and I proposed to First Lady, she told me that she located like three scriptures. And she told God, from today, I won't pray again about husband. I will be serving you. I surface with immediate alacrity. The word of God will compel your helpers. Listen to me. The word of God does not look for solution. The word of God creates solution. The word of God does not look for a way. The word of God is the way. Anything the word of God declare, the word does not look for it. The word creates it. If the word of God declare it, the word of God doesn't look for it. The word of God declare it, then the word of God will create it. The word has creative power. The word of God which liveth and abideth forever. But today, a lot of Christians are actually word lazy, sir. Word lazy. People are word lazy. You go after the word of God. You study the word of God. You meditate on the word of God. So the word is your rod of authority. You rule in the midst of your enemies. The word of God which liveth and abideth forever. The word of God which liveth and what? Abideth forever. I am indestructible. I am unkillable. You can destroy me. You can't. Why? The word of God can't be destroyed. You know the word of God live it and abide it forever. Yeah. So when you bring the word of God and cancer together, because when the word of God and cancer collide, one must give way to one. And because the word live it and abide it forever, the word must kill cancer. 
Anywhere the word is, the word triumph. Anywhere the word is, the word triumph. Is your business going through hardship or hard time? Go after the word. Is it your health? Go after the word. Is it your marriage? Go after the word. The revealed word of God. Get messages. Stop running at a skelter. Stop making yourself a prayer project. That the whole world <laughs> knows you are, you've gone to this mountain for prayer. You've gone to that mountain for prayer. Praying without the word is playing indeed. You're just playing. That's why you see, people can tell you that the more they pray, the more they have attack. Because the word is not in their prayer. In your prayer, shoot word arrows. And let me see the devil that will follow you. You clear all principalities and power. Scriptures over your children, I don't mean the letter that killed it. I mean Rema that has been revealed and you have meditated on it. Thy words were found and I hate them. You, you consume the word of God. A lot of us are meditated on, uh, we, rather we meditate on wrong things. A lot of Christians, you meditate on public opinion, you meditate on your feelings, you meditate on what the enemy is saying, you meditate on doctor's report, you know about how HIV is incurable more than you know that no disease is incurable as written in the word of God. As written in the word of God. Let me tell you, I have never seen me lose in any battle. Because the word of God liveth and abideth forever. For a Christian to have a battle and then you are running helter skelter. One of the dangers of Christianity today is that we have raised a breakthrough generation that can fight. For them, everything must just be going on fine. A lot of us, you hear of a battle, you hear of a challenge, you are calling your mother, you are calling your mother-in-law, you are calling your auntie, you are calling your sister. Everybody is screaming. How I wish you will surround yourself with people that know scriptures. That the, the first person you call is shooting the scripture, telling you relax your mind. This one also shall come to pass as it is written, the end of a matter, that this thing will end in glory. Touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor, give me a scripture. Let me tell you something. Look here. If you pity people, you have ruined them. Anybody pitying you? Saying, hey, yeah. Hmm. Sir, anybody pitying you has ruined you. God does not respond to pity. He responds to his word. Let's wake up. It's time to grow. It's time to be matured. It's time to rule in the midst of our enemies. Learn to do warfare with the word of God. He said, bring forth your strong reasons. Don't sit down and be looking for pity parties and let the enemy be bombarding your mind. Every time fear knocks at your door, let faith answer. Do you listen to the enemy or are you listen to God? It's time to grow as a covenant child of God. Galatians chapter 4 verse 1. And here, as long as he remained a child, different not from a servant. I want to see believers that we grow. I, I, I'm be able to face the battles of life. The word of God cannot fail. Heaven and earth will pass away. Please learn to meditate on the word of God. Learn to do warfare with the word of God. Carry the shield of faith. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. You meditate on it. You stand on it. You declare on it. But the truth is this. Before I go to the second point, and then I minister. Hey, let me tell you, a lot of Christians are word lazy. If there is something you must use in this age, use technology to build your faith in the word of God. It is wrong that you are... <laughs> Whatever your age is, and you have less than messages of the years of your age on your phone. If you are 42, you should not have less than 42 messages. That is the least. A lot of us, if we check our Facebook, Instagram, a lot of irrelevances. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. Build your faith. Listen to the word of God. Teach your children the same. Study 
to show yourself approved unto God. You want to rule in the midst of your enemy? Only the word of God liveth and abideth forever. And the word of God cannot fail. I want somebody to scream with me. The word of God cannot fail. Shout it authoritatively. For the very last time now. And you only grow as you apply it and you see it work. Your faith will develop. I bless you this morning. Receive grace for the word of God. Yeah. Never take no for a final. Answer back with the word. Answer back with the word. Stand your ground on the word of God. Tell that devil you are a liar. God is not a man that he should lie. Whose report will you believe? He is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. He is not a man that he should lie. Le asolia braka shiadi. Indo aproki siade. Le akushia braka dakara. Don't let the enemy molest you. Believe in the word of God. Apply the word of God. Stand on the word of God. I tell you the truth. If the whole world is against you and the word of God supports you, you and the word of God will win. Use the word of God to frame your life. Use the word of God to frame your destiny. This is the key. I mean, this is the key. I mean again, this is the key. I mean again, this is the rod with which you rule and you reign in the midst of your enemies. Somebody lift up your right hand with me quickly. Repeat after me, I am empowered, I am empowered. by the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. to gain fresh access. Into the word of the Lord. I receive revelation. I gain access. To supernatural insights. By the blood of Jesus Christ. A believing amen. John 8.32. You shall know the truth. And the word of God is the truth. You shall know the truth. And the word of God is the truth. Have I not said ye are God? Unto whom the word of the Lord came, and the scriptures cannot be broken, you operate as a God. What is cancer? Cancer will disappear like mere headache. Tumors will vanish. You will be basking in apostolic authority. I am yet to see a mortal man sit on my destiny. You can't. <laughs> because I go after the word. Yeah, I, go, I unseat you from the spirit realm. I unseat you from the spirit realm. Le agrosia, le esobrakashia dakaros. Le androsia, e eprosia agashalia brakash. I see Hebrosa. I weep inside because a lot of Christians today, beloved, beloved, they don't even know the word of God. People are now believers for five, ten years. They don't have understanding of the word of God. Neither do they do warfare with the word of God. Just one scripture, your husband, if your husband is in India and you are here, he will buy a ticket, jump into the plane, and locate you. The Bible says, none shall want a mate. It's not that you are quoting letters. You meditate on it. You, you tap into, into the juice of that word. It is revealed unto you. It is re you meditate on it. You will scream, your joy will be restored. You will know that you have found something, sir. You have found something. Agree? It's, it will give you assurance. How do I know I will live long? I know it more than I know my name. If death wants to die, let death attack me. Look, I am too sure. It's not possible that the number of my days I shall fulfill. For death has been swallowed up in victory. What are you telling me? What are you... <laughs> your fear shows your ignorance. If Satan can condemn you and input the sins of your generation on you, you are simply an ignoramus. You don't understand scriptures. He's telling you that because of what your father did, because of what your mother did, because, it's because he knows you are ignorant. You don't understand redemptive package. And let me tell you, every revelation of the word of God you have, the enemy will come to challenge it, to prove whether you know it. To prove it, whether you know it. <laughs> to prove it, whether you know it. For you not knowing your right in Christ and enforcing it. And enforcing it. 
and enforcing it. If I don't understand some things, that is why I'm not saying women should not know it, but as a man, the priest of the house, the head of the house, takes steps. <laughs> Launch into revelation early enough. Provoke the covenant. If you will doubt anything, doubt your doubt, not the word of God. If I perish, I perish. If you are poor, it's not the environment. You refuse to believe the word. You refuse to do the word. Scriptures cannot be broken. I'm not saying the enemy will not resist. This is where we have patience. Yeah. You believe and you are holding on to. You will not let go. You believe and you are holding on to. You believe and you are holding on to. There are a lot of times I've been face to face and back to back to the wall. Yeah. I'm back to back to the wall. There are times my children's picture, my this, I have it with me on a daily basis speaking the word of God. I will be invoking the word because the word I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Communicating the word. Speaking the word. Hambroshi, li esota. Lift up your right hand, church. Everybody scream it with me. I receive fresh appetite for the word of God. Say it again. I want you to shout it authoritatively. Romans chapter 5, verse 17. I give you the second key. Oh, it is over begging in your life. Amen. If by one man's offense, death reigned through the one, much more those who receive abundance of grace and of the gifts of righteousness will reign in life through the one Jesus Christ. Please hear me. If there is a point you must understand, it is this. You can reign over the enemy. You can rule over the enemy until you are conscious of your righteousness status. You can't. In fact, anybody who understands spiritual warfare, people lose battles. The enemy triumphs over people because they don't understand their righteousness status. This righteousness it's a gift. The Bible says the gift of righteousness. You have abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness with which you reign in life. So, reigning and ruling over the enemy require you have the consciousness of the gift of righteousness. You can't make it in life being unworthy. You can't make it in life having no confidence. You can't make it, make it in life and rule over the enemy with a sense of low self-esteem, total unworthiness, condemnation when you should have justification. Who shall lay a charge against God's elect? Who is he that condemns? What are you telling me? The enemy is a brute. He specializes in accusation. It will bring it against even the righteous. That's why God knows, and God knows that <laughs> the only thing that can bail his own elect out is the price that Christ paid. In putting righteousness, his own righteousness, in putting it to you so that you can stand in the presence of God without guilt or condemnation, knowing fully well that your sins are forgiven. And with that confidence, you face the enemy and destroy him. Anybody that doesn't understand this, hey, oh, Satan will speak to you. <laughs> that everybody is saying, in the name of Jesus Christ, get out. You also, you open your mouth. You, you that you know that your prayer life is not good. The last thing God said you should give, have you given it? You. Everybody is even talking. I'm not even saying people should not talk. But my own issue is you. <laughs> God does not remind you of your mistakes. Anytime you are being reminded your mistakes to the point that you are condemned and your faith is weakened, it is the voice of the enemy. And it is because your righteousness, consciousness, 
is not yet awoken. We believe this message you've just heard from Pastor KK has empowered you for more life transforming messages, information, prayers, and counseling. Please call plus 234 815 329 0440 or send an email to contact us at themastersplace.org. Visit our website www themastersplace.org We invite you to worship with us in our Open Heaven services every Sunday first service 7 a.m. second service 8.45 a.m. and third service 10.15 a.m. and in our Fresh Fire service every Wednesday by 5 p.m. at the Master's Place International Church Church Unusual Synergy Center 190 Jabarod Ephraim Worry Delta state nigeria you can be a part of our ever-growing social media community like us on facebook at the master's place follow us on twitter at master's place and on instagram at the master's place underscore ng welcome to a world of reformation